is Dawn. And Tyler. We're just out and about. And we have come to Splash Country. Yep. Dollywood Splash Country today. We're standing here by the waterfall, so it's kind of loud. Um, yeah. We're at the Lazy River. We, and I think my lens keeps fogging up. Yeah, but it's okay. But it's okay. Anyway, um, you do have to, uh, this is after, you know, there are new procedures here. You um, have to wear a mask in. And, yeah. But once you get in. You once you get in the park, um, we are able to take the mask off. I think you do, like if you're going to get something to eat or going to the restrooms or whatever, you um, need to have your mask on. But other than that, um, everything looks good. It's not crowded yet. We did have to do a temperature check. They did have it out in the parking lot yeah. before you got in. They'll give you a wristband that shows you your temperature was fine. You passed, you know, passed that. So, um, I'll probably do a walk around at the park. I can't film on any rides here with a GoPro because we've tried it to ask before and they don't let you. So, um, I've got another older walk around, but I'll probably do that. And, um, yeah, let me just show you real quick on the chairs here. They do actually have the chairs marked whether they're clean. So, apparently, you know, they've come through and cleaned all of those. And, um, so that'll let you know, I guess, let you know if you, uh, if somebody's gotten up later in the day, it'll let you know that that chair's not clean. Yeah. So, um, anyway, while we're doing some of this stuff and I'll show you a walk around, then be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All right, we're going ahead to have a good time and cool off. waterfall we were speaking of that we were standing by so hopefully you can hear us okay but up there is the entrance to the park and this is your first area of seating you come to right at the entrance of the lazy river all right guys so i am going to try to do a walk around the park for you we did i've got an older video from a couple years ago that was a walk around but i didn't really tell about anything i just put some music with it and went with that so um i'm right here at the entrance right there is where you come down you come in the gate right there um once you've gone through security and everything and there's one ride called tailspin racer up here i'm going to show it to you and it is the first thing you come to so let's go for a walk around all right, so we got a pavilion over there, I guess, to have a picnic or a party if you had anything booked. And this is the only tra only attraction that's up here, which is a Matt Racer ride called Tailspin Racer. And let me mention, on a hot day like today, those tunnels are super hot inside. And there's the path to go up to Tailspin Racer. Like I said, right here where you come in the gate. To the right when you come in are some restrooms, the changing areas and that where you would get your time saver if you had purchased that, cabanas. Once you come in, right there is the entrance to the Lazy River. And up above are a set of tube slides. They're really fun as well. To the left you have uh, your merchandise. And there's a campsite grill over there which we ate there. Had burgers. They had burgers, chicken, and pizza. They still have plenty of seating right now out by the Lazy River entrance 
and they do have the chairs kind of with a distance with a group of chairs back in to the left you do have a kitty section back there i'm not going to go back there it's just the few little slides and a wading pool Straight back from the entrance, you will come up to the wave pool. I'll scan it real quick, but they are, you can either have a float or not have a float in their wave pool. And it is continuous waves instead of one big wave. Right there, the Fire Tower Falls. The big tower there it is a body slide back out from the wave pool still right here beside the lazy river is another set of body slides they're kind of small but the pool and everything is made like a butterfly Okay, the entrance for this ride is right there. And for those slides that I said were tubes that were up above the Lazy River, you go up through there too to get your tubes. Over beside of that, you have the Swiftwater Run. We did ride it. It is a tube ride. And you go up there, come down through the tube, through the tunnel. And you're sort of in that bowl there before you have a small splash down. These here I think are called mountain twist and they are body slides. Let me tell you that slide down the middle is very intense. If you're a thrill seeker, and you would like to get airtime on one of these body slides, you can definitely do it on that one. Actually, I think I said mountain twist, but it's mountain scream. And it is a high speed thrill ride. All right, so up here we've got mountain twist. If I get some of the names wrong, I apologize. The mountain twist are these slides here. They are matte slides. And as you can see, they twist all up through there. There's actually, I think, three total different ones. And the last thing over in this corner is the Slick Rock Racer. And it is one of your slide racers all right so right there is from the entrance where we came up walked up to the wave pool and back over that way so now let's walk as though we were taking a left as we were facing the sign Let me note real quick that by the Lazy River and different areas, they do actually, there's some walkers, but they do actually have some cabanas to rent. Over there's the part of the kitty area that I didn't walk in. <laughs> there we have Big Bear Plunge, which I'll just show you where it comes down. It is, you go all the way up those steps, it's a, another family raft ride. It's a lot of fun. I wouldn't say it's intense. Or too intense. Like I said, it's the family raft. So you're sitting in the round tubes. 
all of that right there is the Big Bear Plunge and you land in that pool, I have to walk up the steps. From the Big Bear Plunge, you walk under it. It'll go to the Cascades and also to River Rush, which is their water coaster. Here's part of the River Rush. It's right there beside where Big Bear Falls are. A super fun water coaster. From River Rush, you'll come up on the Big Mountain Fire Tower. It's a lot of fun for the kids and the adults. We'll zoom in there. That big old Splash Country water bucket fills up. Does a big splash down. And just in case you're wondering how close the Dream More Resort is, right there it is. We stayed at Dream More a few months ago. I'll be sure and put the tour up above. And you do get some perks for Splash Country and Dollywood when you're staying at Dream More. Let's see if the bucket will get filled up here. Here we go. That's a lot of water. All right, so there's plenty of places to sit over here and places to eat. Right beside of that, we have the Fire Tower Falls. Have a restroom area there. And here is the Fire Tower Falls you see from the back side of the wave pool. Is a body slide. High thrill. And let's finish up over at the Cascades. Over here at the Cascades, they have several cabanas that are available to rent in this area as well plenty of seating especially with a reduced capacity in the park right now and i'll just scan over here in this pool real quick but this is the cascades there's a few small slides and a pool along the waterfalls and there's a kitty section back there i won't go too close back there filming people but this is the last area in the very back it's called the cascades all right guys so that's pretty much the tour of splash country i know i've seen a lot of people ask about splash and you know what rides they have attractions and everything else i mean it's not I mean, you can get around here pretty quickly. It's not a huge water park. They got some great attractions. So some of the places that were crowded, I tried to just scan pretty quickly out of respect for everybody. So hopefully this gives you somewhat of an idea and hopefully my flip flops weren't squeaking too bad walking around. So we'll meet back up with Tyler and we're fixing to head out. All right guys, well that about does it for our day here at Dollywood Splash Country. That's it. How did you, in, did you enjoy it? Other oh, than being, oh, yeah. it's hot. It's a hot day, yeah, but we enjoyed it. We always enjoy Splash Country. Yeah. Uh, a little crowd. The rides you've pretty much been walk on. Yeah. I mean, we ain't rode much, but yeah, you could have walked on. You could have walked, uh, you know, pretty much walked on. And how'd you feel about the social distancing and the? I thought they're doing, they're doing a really good job. 
Um, we saw several people cleaning the railings, yeah, you know, coming and, up through the I mean, sides, like you cleaning can, the railings. And, I mean, you can social distance yourself. I mean, like, just, like, keep a couple rows on you on the steps or whatever. Yeah, and, I mean, they've got the markers there yeah. for the six foot, but as far as the capacity that they got in the park, yeah. the chairs are spread it's out. They were marked whether they were clean. The yeah. tables where yeah. we ate. Table. They had the little things on them. And I saw the lady telling, um, telling somebody that... But I don't know that everybody knew that. Yeah, like, like they had a little marker, little little thing to mark saying it was cleaned. Yeah. But it's not. I saw her telling somebody to turn it over yeah. when it wasn't clean, and they that way they could know they had to come by and clean it. But um, yeah, I felt. I mean, felt, felt fine great. about it. Yeah. Done a great job. So um, anyway, hopefully you got a little bit of the tour. It does show you a little bit about the slides at the park, and you know I told you what they were about. So. Anyway, we're headed out of here, and we will see you guys later. Thanks for tagging along. Bye. Bye.